I found it very alarming talaga that the kids nowadays don't know how to speak the mother tongue, Tagalog. I just want to categorize his concern kasi tama naman yung concern niya. Like ako, I can speak Mandarin, I can speak um, English, I can speak Bisaya and Tagalog, di ba? So, talagang feel na feel ko at damdam na ramdam ko yung concern niya na maganda talaga kapag marunong ka at natututo ka ng iba't ibang lengguahe. So, the first category would be parenting. Kasi, syempre naman, ang mga bata ngayon na mga parents, many of them, not all, but many of them, they would rely on allowing their kids to watch YouTube videos. So, dun sila natututo ng English, di ba? And then, ang pinaka-danger zone dyan, kapag talagang babad na babad yung anak mo sa YouTube at uh, mga mobile games and apps, talagang nasisira yung utak ng bata. Kasi, they just know how to absorb and they don't know how to think. Kaya nga tinatawag nating zombie generation, di ba? Now, the second category would be, to answer your concern really is about the education system sa atin. Magugulat ka din, it's really alarming na grade 4 na yung mga bata, pero hindi nila natututunan mag-spell ng 1, 2, 3. Bakit ka mo? Kasi syempre, baby pa sila, ang galing-galing nila mag-English, di ba? Kasi nga, nood ng nood ng YouTube, at lahat talaga in English language. Pero nung lumaki na sila, na grade 1 na sila, imbis ituro is continuous English, biglang nagbisaya or biglang nagtagalog or kung ano yung mother tongue nila. So, isipon mo na lang yung 1. Tapos, pagdating sa school, ang 1 is usa, duha, tulo, upat. And then, all of a sudden, when they go to grade 4, kailangan lang matutunan yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In addition, and other, other bisaya words, automatically in English. Kaya nga, if you might have heard sa maraming survey, you know, recently, bagsak talaga ang Pilipinas sa comprehension. Kasi nga, talagang ang mga tao, ano eh, wala talaga, hindi nila alam kung ano ba talaga ang dapat nilang pag-aralan na salita. Kasi dapat naman kasi, the environment would be very natural for a person to learn another language. Pero sa school talaga, there must be a medium of communication para dun ma-develop ang communication skills ng isang bata. So yeah, mother tongue is important. So that's for the parents. Pero yung English comprehension mga bata, dapat talaga, Madam Secretary, uh, Sara Duterte, please, tanggalin nyo na po ang K-12 mother tongue at baguhin nyo na po yung education system natin. Kasi talagang nakakaawa na ang Pilipinas, lumalaking zombie ang mga bata.